Above each car door, you'll usually find a handle. I call it the oh no handle. It's there to give you something to hold on to when your grandma decides to go full NASCAR. These handles are actually especially useful, all jokes aside. <laughs> Me? Jokes aside? Ugh. A lot of people need a little extra help getting in and out of the car. As for why the driver's door usually doesn't have one, there are a couple of reasons. For one, the steering wheel can function as a makeshift grab handle. Drivers might also be inclined to grab the handle while driving. Not safe. Modern car keys have a nice trick up their sleeve, if they had sleeves. They can control your windows. Try holding the unlock button on your car keys for a few seconds. There's a chance that after 5 seconds, your car windows will magically open. If you hold the lock button again, your windows should close. Only a few special people actually use this cool trick. Check out your owner's manual. Your car might be one of the lucky ones. If your internet goes down and you really need that gaming fix, Google has you covered. You click on your favorite shortcut and disaster. The dreaded message appears, unable to connect to the internet. But wait, what's that little pixelated dinosaur next to it? Instead of panicking, press that spacebar. This little game has become a huge hit, and it's a lot more addictive than it looks. A dinosaur jumping over a cactus? <laughs> Genius! During the colder months, putting on a beanie can mean the difference between staying home and going outside. And you can thank French sailors for the pom-pom on top. This was to stop them from banging their heads on those pesky beams down below. Ow! Fast forward a bunch of decades, now everyone's wearing them. Next time you're on a flight, look above each window. You'll notice some little triangles sitting there. They're there to show the flight crew the best spots to view the plane's flaps through the window. If you're worried about a little air sickness ruining your flight, try to choose a seat that's located between these triangles. Sitting between the wings puts you in the direct center of the plane and offers the smoothest possible ride. Now, sitting at a long traffic light usually makes me hungry, bored, and a little curious. Have you ever thought about those black dots and that black line all along the edges of your windshield? It looks cool enough, but come on, it's got to have a hidden use, right? Hmm. Well, the black line is called a frit, and it's there to help your windshield from popping out of the car. Pretty important, I'd say. Microwavable instant rice loves to fall over in the microwave, if you're me, that is. And like me, you've probably struggled with keeping the package upright. As it turns out, the flaps that fold out from the bottom create a nice sturdy base. Push them out and give it a try. Hey, why didn't I learn this in school? Has that half-finished 2-liter bottle of soda left over from pizza night gone flat? Rather than pouring it down the drain, add it to your compost heap. The sugar feeds good microorganisms and increases the acidity of the pile, helping organic material break down faster. Any pair of scissors will go blunt sooner or later, but don't let that stop you. There's a product in your kitchen that can help bring them back to life fast. Mm. Aluminum foil isn't just for leftover lasagna. Fold a sheet of it into quarters and start cutting. Cutting through the foil will sharpen those scissors right up, but not if they're too blunt. Rescue them while there's still time. Those little escalator brushes aren't there to clean your shoes, even though they can do a rather good job. These bristles are actually a serious safety feature. Without them, clothes, shoelaces, and bags can get caught in them when they're too close to the sides. The little brushes are also there to tickle you, to remind you to look down and take care. Hey, I always thought it was a bug rubbing up against me. Half belts. Seriously, what's up with those things? Well, some military jackets used to double as blankets, and the half belt helped keep the extra material from getting in the soldier's way. Nowadays, they're mostly used as a fashion accessory. Accidentally stapling the wrong pages together is like the worst thing ever. Well, there are worse things, but it's certainly annoying. Especially if the staple takes out a huge piece of your document with it when you try to pry it off. There's actually a simple way to make sure that the stapler pins are less tight and easier to pull out. Take a close look at that metal plate at the front of your stapler, known as the anvil. Turn the stapler upside down and adjust the settings. 
you're basically changing the stapler setting to temporary. No more tears, no more tears. Mention my name and you'll get a good seat. Toilet seat covers have been used wrong for way too long. I see you ripping off that flap that looks like a tongue. No, you're doing it all wrong. Instead of tearing it off, let the flap sit in the bowl after you put it down the cover. When you flush, the suction will pull on the flap and take it away. Aren't you glad you know that now? That dark square or rectangle at the end of your toothpaste tube? What does that mean? Is it color-coded to show what ingredients are in there? Or does it show whether the toothpaste is synthetic or natural? Well, sorry, but the truth isn't that exciting. The markings are there for the assembly machines. They help the machines know where to cut and fold each tube. We've all driven home from the supermarket, taken a right turn a little too hard, and crash! Sounds like the groceries volcano just erupted in the trunk. Look closely in the trunk. You might see some little hooks in there. You can hang your bags on them. Ooh. Yeah, some cars have them behind the front seats instead. You can use them to hang clothes or even your takeout bag. You may have noticed that members of the flight crew like to touch the overhead compartments while they're walking down the aisle. They don't have a weird desire to touch everything. There are actually handles along the edges to give them a better grip while walking. Go ahead and use them the next time you feel like a mid-air stroll. It's definitely better than grabbing onto everyone's headrests. Don't you hate that? A shiny brass doorknob adds just the right amount of fancy to your front door. But that's not all it does. Brass, like anything with copper alloy in it, has antimicrobial properties that many harmful germs and bacteria just can't stand. In high traffic areas, these brass knobs and handles are the perfect way to get rid of those nasty germs without having to use harsh chemicals all the time. The only downside is that brass is a lot more expensive than other metals. That might be why it's hardly used for this anymore. Does your toothbrush have a pattern of blue bristles weaved in with the white ones? It makes the toothbrush look a lot more stylish. But it's not just about looking good. Those bristles actually have a practical purpose. The blue dye is designed to wear off, around the same time as when you should replace your toothbrush. You should be switching out your toothbrush every 3-4 to four months anyway. But those blue bristles are there to give you a gentle nudge, just in case you forget. Now, you walk over them every day and never think about it twice. But is there a reason maintenance hole covers are always round? In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, these covers used to be square-shaped slabs of stone. But all those edges and gaps led to plenty of stubbed toes and accidents for unsuspecting Romans. A round cover eliminated the problem. Plus, it meant you could only open it with a specialized tool. Probably a good idea. The thermos was invented by a Scottish scientist, but not for keeping his coffee warm. He just wanted to keep some chemicals at a stable temperature. He placed a small bottle inside of a larger one and then sucked all the air out from between the two bottles. This same technique is used to make the modern thermos. You can find a pincushion in just about every household. And strangely, it's always in the shape of a tomato. Ever wondered about that little strawberry dangling from the top? I'm no biologist, but I'm quite sure that strawberries don't grow on tomatoes. That little thing's for the needle you're currently using so you don't lose it in that big pile you have. Stick deodorants go to waste when the casing starts rubbing against your skin, but there's still plenty left in there. Here's an easy trick to get it out. Unscrew the bottom and push it up from underneath. That'll give you a few more days at least. Some people still drive off from the gas station with the hose shoved in their gas tank. Oh boy. Luckily, gas companies figured out a solution. If you happen to drive off with a hose still in there, there's a magnetic connector that disengages when pulled. That way, you don't take the pump with you. Now that would be embarrassing. Opening jars can be tough, even for the strongest person. I need a pickle, stat. Ah! Luckily, there's a solution. Pop on some rubber gloves. These gloves aren't simply great for cleaning. They'll give you the extra grip you need to open even the toughest of containers. Now, your life is just a little bit better. You're welcome.